Hello and welcome back to Icon Diary. I'm Peter Blackwood and I have painted an icon of John Bunyan, a non-conformist preacher and a writer most famous for his book The Pilgrim's Progress. Well, Ruth Slater has written this little biography. John Bunyan is best remembered for his allegorical novel The Pilgrim's Progress, but perhaps he should best be remembered as a fearless preacher. Bunyan was born in November 1628 in Bedfordshire, England, at a time of religious unrest. Growing up he had a reputation for enjoying life to the full, but he married a woman with a strong faith and through her influence joined a local nonconformist church. The change from blasphemer to preacher intrigued the population of Bedford and his preaching increased in popularity and in power. After the restoration of the monarchy in 1660, the meeting houses of the nonconformists were closed by Act of Parliament and preaching other than in authorised parish churches was forbidden. Bunyan, however, continued to preach throughout the countryside and was arrested and jailed for 12 years. It was while in prison that most of his books and articles were written. Religious intolerance had meanwhile decreased and after he was freed he became a pastor, again spending much time preaching throughout the countryside. His boldness led him to be imprisoned for six months in 1675 and it was during this time he wrote The Pilgrim's Progress. The Spirit of God was so strong in Bunyan that he could not stop sharing the gospel no matter what the consequences. His boldness and confidence in God in all situations is reflected in his hymn, Who Would True Valour See? John Bunyan's life and works are remembered on the 31st of August. Who would true valour see, let him come hither. One here will constant be, come wind, come weather. There's no discouragement shall make him once relent his first avowed intent to be a pilgrim. Who so beset him round with his small stories? Do but themselves confound his strength the more is. No lion can him fright, he'll with a giant fight, but he will have a right to be a pilgrim. Hobgoblin nor foul fiend can daunt his spirit. He knows he at the end shall life inherit. Then fancies fly away, he'll fear not what men say, he'll labour night and day to be a pilgrim.
Well, there is a lot of black gown in this icon. It's a, a blue black mixed from burnt umber and ultramarine blue. And I think it works better than Mars black. I've used it quite often. It's a more interesting black. And I think the collar and the red book add some warmth to this quite cool icon. Well, thanks for joining the Icon Diary journey. Look forward to seeing you again next time.